Thank you for continuing your education about water treatment with us. This video will cover mineralized versus demineralized water treatment methods. Most of our body is made up of water, and water and food are the fuel for our body. Because of the importance of water in our diet, shouldn't it contain the minerals that we need to fuel our engine? In a natural setting, water runs over rocks and picks up the minerals that our body needs to survive. Rain and water in the ground passes over different things and picks up soluble bits of whatever it comes in contact with. Calcium and magnesium are two critical life-sustaining minerals that are picked up during this process. They have little to no effect on the flavor or smell of your water, but can create troublesome scaling to your home's appliances and fixtures. Drinking water treatment processes like reverse osmosis and distillation are common treatment processes that remove healthy minerals in addition to removing unhealthy contaminants. These drinking water processes have over a 40-year history of being used to desalinate seawater on Navy ships and submarines. Another traditional drinking water option, bottled water, most likely uses reverse osmosis, distillation, or a combination of the two in the manufacturing process. Have you ever analyzed a label on a bottle of water? Not all bottled water is created equally. Did you know that bottled water manufacturers usually remineral water before they sell it? Additionally, bottles leach different chemicals in the water and disposal of the bottles has become a major concern for their environmental impact. Concord, Massachusetts has just banned all bottled water sales for this reason. So how does reverse osmosis work? Reverse osmosis takes household inlet water and pushes it through a semi-permeable membrane. The microscopic membrane prevents minerals and contaminants from passing through the pores, but allows water to pass. The membrane strips 92 to 98% of all good minerals and contaminants from the water, leaving it absent of any taste. Often, RO water is said to be dead as nothing is left in it after the process. Additionally, the process is inefficient and usually wastes 4-5 to five gallons of water for every 1 gallon produced for use. Bacteria growth is also possible in the bladder of the reverse osmosis tank since it often sits there for extended periods of time when not in use. The most recent design changes to reverse osmosis have added a calcium filter so that the minerals can be added back in after most everything else is removed, offering a much higher pH level, somewhere around 6.0 or slightly higher. Reverse osmosis is very corrosive, which is why they have to line the pipe with a special plastic to protect it from deterioration. How does distillation work? A distiller heats the household inlet water to its boiling point. As the steam rises and is free of all contaminants and minerals, it travels to a separate chamber where it is collected and cooled back into a water form. Distilled water has the same characteristics as reverse osmosis, as it is absent of taste and becomes very corrosive. A citrus-based filtration system is new to the market. It demineralizes through a chelation process, stripping minerals from the water. Point-of-use counter-pitcher drinking options, which remove contaminants, also strip important minerals from the water, as they also use a semi-permeable membrane at the top of the pitcher. One specific counter-pitcher manufacturer talks about zero total dissolved solids as being a goal of their product. But if zero is the goal, isn't the water demineralized without health benefits? Have you ever had a drink of water and were still thirsty afterward? This phenomenon occurs because your body is craving the minerals not present in the water you just consumed. Demineralized water may even increase the risk to your body. A body which lacks minerals to stabilize the body's blood pH will strip calcium from your teeth and bones, if not introduced in some other form through vitamins or the food we ingest. Blood which is acidic will allow disease growth whereas alkaline blood will prevent disease growth. Martin Fox, Ph.D., is an environmental researcher and nutritionist. His full-length book, Healthy Water for a Longer Life, has been called the best book on the subject. As I started to collect the data and the medical research's relationship on drinking water to heart disease and cancer, I started to see a different picture. Most of the articles clearly showed the benefits of minerals in drinking water. Let's review a few of these studies. In the United States, Great House and Osborne studied 4,200 adults ages 25 to 74 in 35 different geographic areas. Their findings showed less heart disease and mortality in hard water areas than in soft water areas. 
A report by the Oak Ridge National Laboratory found that the calcium and magnesium in hard water reduces the risks of heart attacks and strokes. Burton and Cornhill analyzed the drinking water in the 100 largest cities in America. They found a 10 to 25% reduction in the amount of cancer deaths if the drinking water had a moderately high level of TDS, total dissolved solids. If the water was hard and if the water had an alkaline pH above 7.0. Denise Mofat veterinarian and certified traditional naturopath through the American Naturopathic Medical Association with a master's in biology offered these results as part of her analysis. An imbalanced pH affects all cellular activity in the body, leading to the progression of most degenerative diseases, including cardiovascular disease and heart disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol levels, kidney stones, urinary incontinence, arthritis, osteoporosis, cancer, diabetes, system weight gain, and obesity. An imbalanced body pH can also be at the root of many common symptoms, such as constipation, digestive problems, heartburn, headaches, frequent colds, fatigue, and sleeplessness, just to mention a few. Dr. Michael Lamb, a specialist in preventative and anti-aging medicine, MD, MPH, ABAAM, currently the Director of Medical Education at the Academy of Anti-Aging Research, offered the following. We should try to maintain a healthy, slightly alkaline pH so as to allow fats to be burnt normally for energy rather than hoarded and stored under the mistaken biochemical belief of an impending famine. An acidic imbalance will, number one, decrease the body's ability to absorb minerals and other nutrients, two, decrease energy production in the cells, three, decrease the body's ability to repair damaged cells, four, decrease the body's ability to detoxify heavy metals, five, enable tumor cells to thrive, six, make the body more susceptible to fatigue and illness. Dr. Lamb further states, acidosis, which is an extended time in acid pH state, can result in rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes, lupus, tuberculosis, osteoporosis, high blood pressure, and most cancers. So how do you evaluate if minerals exist in the water you're drinking? An inexpensive, simple solution is to use the five drop phenol red test. Let's test some water samples. A reading of 7.0 means the water is neutral or balanced. Samples exhibiting anything above 7.0 will appear as a dark pink, which means it is alkaline and healthier for consumption. Refer to the pH chart to compare the color to the alkalinity level. Demineralized water samples, softened water, reverse osmosis water, distilled water, filtered pitcher water, bottled water. Mineralized water samples, municipal water, conditioned water. Clearly, there are a couple of choices that stand out as being safer for you and your family. Let's offer one more expert statement on demineralized water from the World Health Organization. The potential for adverse health effects from long-term consumption of demineralized water is of interest where some types of home water treatment systems are widely used or where some types of bottled water are consumed. Persons consuming certain types of water may not be receiving the additional minerals that would be present in more highly mineralized water. Hopefully we have offered up a few of the many examples that appear on this subject and intrigued you enough to research it further. Other prominent medical communities like WebMD, the Mayo Clinic, and the CDC have weighed in on this subject. So ask yourself, what is important to you? Even though calcium and magnesium cause scaling in your home, by removing these life-sustaining minerals, we may be causing ourselves damage or worse, be harming a loved one or child living with you. Our goal is to help consumers make an educated water treatment purchasing decision based on knowledge and independent research. As always, we offer this education free of charge with no hidden agenda. So please do not hesitate to contact us if further questions arise.